What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a $10,000 new and used sneaker mystery box. Look how absolutely massive this box is. This is the biggest box besides the one that my Supreme Bike came in that I've ever unboxed. This is all sneakers. I literally don't even know how many are in here. We're going to be seeing in this box if it is worth $10,000. You guys know I've unboxed a lot of sneaker mystery boxes, a lot of mystery boxes in general. This one is from Cool Kicks and now I did a video trading with Cool Kicks a few weeks ago where you guys saw that where I got a sneaker mystery box now another youtuber has bought a mystery box from him as well now he criticized a little bit of what he got inside so today we're going to be seeing how this sneaker mystery box is for me now I paid absolutely full price for this box ten thousand and fifteen dollars I think I believe after shipping it was now I recorded all this so you guys will see it in just a minute and we're gonna see how the value of this box is as far as resale value goes to be 1,000% upfront this is not an ad I'm not being paid one dollar for this I paid full prices I got zero discounts on this so we're gonna be seeing and giving my opinion to see whether this is a hundred percent worth it or not Again, this is not an ad. I paid full price for this item right here. What my experience is with getting this box, you can see the sneaker wall behind me is completely empty. Every shoe that we get in here is going up on the sneaker wall. If you guys didn't know, we're doing a giveaway of these Jordan 1 Laker SBs right here. And any size, we're going for about three to $400. All you have to do for that giveaway is you have to subscribe to the channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to go to this post that's on the screen right now. Leave a comment down below. Tag two friends on that post and then like the post and you'll be entered. We're not in the winner on June 30th. You can only enter this giveaway once. So if you already entered, you're all good and we'll be not seeing winner on the 30th. This video would not be possible without Squarespace.com. If you guys don't know Squarespace, it is an online website builder that you can build your own resale website. You can do it to have a blog, all different kinds of things. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later in the video, but Squarespace is the reason that this is possible. And I'll be selling some of the sneakers from this box because the sizes are going to be ranging all over from like seven to 13. So I'm not going to be keeping all of them. So we'll see which ones I'm going to sell at the end of the video. Like I said, we're about to cut back now to me when I had to pick up this package. USPS would not even deliver it to me. I had to go to the office and pick it up as well as me purchasing the box online when I heard that they got the $10,000 box. So let's go ahead and cut back to the footage right now. All right, guys, this store called Cool Kicks in LA just posted up that they have a $10,000 thousand dollars used and new sneaker mystery box that just went up on the site i'm i, I want to cop this right now all the boxes that i've seen from them you guys didn't see i did a trade video ten thousand dollars you can see right there i'm adding the cart guys literally i'm not getting any discount i'm paying full price for me i'm gonna probably pay shipping ten thousand oh my god putting in my shipping information i'm checking my car make sure everything is good all right i'm double checking everything ten thousand fifteen complete order <laughs> Your order's being processed. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. I hope it's some really good stuff in here. <laughs> Order confirmed. Bruh, I hope this gets here quick. I'm excited. Oh, I'm not showing you guys me purchasing in a minute. $10,015. You can see the order confirmation. You can see everything there. No discounts. That's that's it. All right, well, I guess I'll check in a few days and this better be lit. So I just realized the post office closes in 10 minutes. It's seven minutes away and I have to go pick up this package before because they'll close right on the dot. So I'm running over there right now to get this package before it's gone. Because I leave for New York on Wednesday and I need to film this today because my videographer can't film tomorrow. So we're like, it's all kind of pressure. So we gotta get this done. All right guys, so the reason we're rushing over here is because apparently this package is too big for the post office to drop off. I don't understand what's going on, but we have to go there by five. We're five minutes away. It's 4.55 right now. So I'm trying to get this because we have to film this video today. So hopefully they don't close. USPS is just kind of rude sometimes and they're supposed to drop it off, but they didn't. And this person needs to go. But this package was like lost for a week. It never got scanned and then it just shows up in Atlanta. And so we're trying to film this right now and uh, get this video out to you guys while we're in New York because that's what we're doing. Well, I'm probably gonna go up while we're in New York. So we gotta get over and get this package. Let's go. All right, we're pulling in right now. It's five o'clock or it's 459. Bro, I'm about to blast. I'm about to blast in here. Screw. <laughs> Because I'm not leaving here without this package, bro. I'm about to pull in like I'm a truck. Alright. I don't think I'll bring, I bring, a I bring my camera in. Nick can probably wait out here. And then I'll tell him to record me coming out. Figure this bitch out. Alright, I gotta go. Got it, boys. Alright, we gotta back the car.
Thank you. Let's hope no. Uh, I hope I didn't break anything. Let's hope nothing in the box is breaking. This is a lot of sneakers. <laughs> Literally one minute, to, not even a minute to spare. She was like, "I'm closing, the, like I'm closing this right now." And you're lucky you just got here. She was nice. Most of the employees just don't really care about packages and they just leave. But thank God I got there. There's a bell in it. I was like, "Ding!" I was like, "Better come." It was loud. But all right, let's get home. Time to finally unbox this package that's been lost for a week. This looks like a lot of stuff, so let's get it. The box is huge. Because I'm about to Arnold Schwarzenegger this. Lift with your legs. <laughs> Got it. to the studio. All right guys, I finally got this all set up and I'm ready to go ahead and start opening this up. Just this box is just so freaking big and heavy. Low key, I wanna flip it upside down and open it upside down. That might mess up the contents, but I kinda wanna switch it up for my typical opening from the top. So I'm gonna move this. Guys, when I tell you this box is literally like 70 pounds, it is so, maybe I'm just weak, but it is so heavy. Oh God, this might not be the best idea. Oh. All right, let's go. I, I must be weak. There's no way. Ooh, that was a weird shift. I'm gonna guess right now how many sneakers are in here. I'm gonna guess 28. 28 sneakers is my guess of what's in here. Leave a comment down below what you guys think the amount is. So let's go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up. All right, here we go. I am so excited and nervous to see what we get in here. I have faith that it's gonna be a good box. It's as far as for me buying boxes like this, I get the value of the video. So I get a whole video out of it, as well as I get to sell the sneakers. Now I usually sell them a little bit cheaper than like the resale price, just to kind of do a quick sale. But for the most part, like I said, I get the value out of the video and what's inside the box. So we're gonna see how the value looks. I wanna give you guys a sneak preview too, cause I always like to do that before I give myself one. So let's see and show you guys just a little bit. Of I literally can't even do it. A preview. How are we looking, guys? I can't tell. Am I, am I showing it? How does it look, guys? How are we looking? I'm not taking a peek. And then we're going to close it back up. Hopefully, it looks decent with the boxes like upside down or something. So, first things first, I feel a box. Let's go ahead. Start it off. We have an off white Nike. That is a good start. We have the Zoom 10, the 10 Zoom Fly size 10 and a half, and the white. I guess it's the. Ooh, we got the OG Zoom Fly. Dang, these are really sick, actually. I've had the black and the pink, but I have not had the OGs because these skyrocketed in value. I love the way that these look. Just, they look so clean. I ended up trading my black and pink ones to get a pair of off-white Chicago, but I really like this one over the other ones. And these are holding their value a good bit. Last sale on these was 825 on StockX. So we're gonna put the resale value around 825. I think that's a pretty fair point to have it at. We're gonna go ahead and put these on the wall. First one's up down there. Those are dope sneakers. I don't know if they'll fit though because they run a little bit big. Like usually I'm like a size 11 and a half. So we'll see. Let's keep moving. Next up, we have a Yeezy 350. What colorway do we have? We have the, ooh, these are the triple white ones. I never had a pair of these just because they made so many colorways. This is actually really clean. They just have so many colorways of the 350 V2s that I never got these, but honestly, I really like these, but these are a size nine and a half US. So this is gonna be a box full of like all different kinds of sizes. It's not just particularly my size. The resale on these is at like 285 right now, so not too crazy. We're gonna be keeping the values up on the screen as we go. Two shoes in, sitting at about $1,000 so far. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's keep it moving. We have a, ooh, this is the uh, Nike 720. Air Max size 10 and a half. Oh, these are the ones that came out on Super Bowl weekend. I actually, if you guys don't know, I got these at the retail store. They had them at $140. I guess they're, yep, yeah, they're definitely used. They have this like crazy reflective paper. This is really cool, actually. I sold my pair for retail, I think. Cool pair of sneakers, though. I just found them hard to pull off. Next up, we have a, ooh, this is a Nike, this is a Fear of God, Nike Fear of God Mach 170 size 11. It's my size. Ooh, I don't know about the moccasins. Yep. Eh. 
I'm not a big fan of these to be 100% honest. This is like the pink colorway of the moccasin. I just, they're just not a sneaker I think. How are you gonna wear these? It's just like, they're a low top, but they're like a mid top. And you, I don't think you can wear these with shorts, but you have to have like pants that drape over maybe. I'm not a big fan of these. These are like sitting at retail at the stores that I go to. Just looked at the resale value. They're at like 194 as far as buying them on StockX. So a little bit of resale value, but if you're selling them, you're not gonna make much money. Four sneakers deep. Let's keep moving. I'm excited, man. These are some good sneakers. We got a big box. This is a Yeezy box. Yep, we got a size 12 Yeezy analog. Okay, yep. I had these in a the size nine before they came out and I ended up selling them obviously because they weren't my size. These looked like to be a little bit used. This is a really good looking sneaker. Again, Yeezy's just coming out with so many similar colorways. Like look, that looks just like the triple whites right there. Another one down, if they have any resale, I would think they're gonna be at like 280, 300, right around retail price. Keeping it going, keeping it going. We have a Jordan, what is this? Jordan 12 and the deep royal blue size nine. Ooh, some like deep blue Jordan ones. Jordan one, Jordan 12. Size nine just sold brand new for 235 on StockX. These look can't they look maybe new yeah i think these are new so 235 on the resale on these i'm not the biggest fan of 12 i just don't really wear them because i don't think they look good on me six sneakers in so far we probably have a ton left we have right now Ooh, another off-white nike and the air presto and the white color they had them at 850 these are nice i've had a pair of these but i just never wore them and i never end up wearing them just because that ankle as you can see just cuts a little bit low this is a smaller base size right here but i just looked it up the resale value on these is like 550 was the last sale so i was going to put it at about 550 bucks. Tally will be up on the screen. Another off-white Nike though. Have a really good selection so far over here actually. Again, some of these will be up on my site as well. Not sure if it'll be up exactly when this video goes live in the future, but we have another Yeezy box right here. These are the Yeezy Butters in a size 11 and a half. Just sold a pair of Butters. Too similar. All the, all, that's literally like a gradient of colors. Last sale on the Butters was 274. So that's where our value's at right there for this size 11 and a half. Uh, guys, this is getting really tough. Let's keep, let me give you a little preview of what we got in there left. Not gonna peek. It is still so heavy. Can you guys see it? Anything? Anything? Oh, I feel a shoe that's out of the box. Let me pull this out. We have the oh, the new Sakai Air Max. This is in the size eight and a half, six. Dang, I wish these were my size. I have not gotten any of these. I really want these. There's a couple different colorways. You see, he's got that chunky back there. Got the double tongue. It's like see-through. I really, really like this shoe. I plan on getting my size when I go to New York, so I'm excited about that. But this is, I love this shoe. Resale just kind of tanked on these. They had it at 650, maybe like two weeks ago. That's like where the value is at, but it definitely has gone down since they released. Wait, did these have a release because you can't even buy this colorway on because there's the green colorway and the blue colorway last sale was 350 that was the only sale but the highest bid is 500 so i don't see like these for sale or anything i guess these might not have released yet because 650 might be where the value might be at maybe like 550 600 because i'm not finding any information on these if these are my size i would rock these but i love that this this silhouette in general so i'm excited to get the other two but next up we have let's keep moving guys they're still this is literally so heavy we have a box that's kind of broken and beaten up let's pull this out we have this is a nike air force just like a tan colorway it looks like a timberland boot these are used and they had them at 100 bucks size 13 so we'll put them at 100 bucks and these are prop nothing crazy on this 10 sneakers so far let's keep moving i'm gonna peek in there we have a black it looks like a jordan six box this is a jordan 5 retro db oh is this a dorm becker yes these are brand new jordan 5 dorm beckers right there if you guys don't know the dorm becker story i'm not that familiar with it i just know that there's a lot of like the dorm beckers that are customized by specific kids and there's like a story behind it. I do not know why this was in the box. Oh wait, maybe does it like light up? I don't, I'm so confused. It's got like this really cool like iridescent vibe going. Last sale on the 10 half was 820, buy it now for 1,090. So I would say these are probably around like 850. These are dead stock too, so nice on that. These are probably a pretty old sneaker. I don't know the exact information on this. I don't want to say anything incorrect and be disrespectful. So these are the Isaac RZ. I think that's how you pronounce it. So Isaac had to have open heart surgery surgery and he was working on sketches for a special Air Jordan 5 before he tragically passed away in April. So sad story, but Isaac, super dope sneaker. I really like the iridescent. I just love the story behind the Dornbeckers. They all have really cool stories and the, the whole cause behind it is amazing. Letting kids design these sneakers. So awesome to have a pair of these. And shout out to Isaac for making a really dope sneaker. The vibes going, we have a, oh my, this is so heavy. A Nike Air Force. This is a 25. Guys, if I had to weigh this, this is like a 15 pound box, 10 pound box, size nine brown. I've literally never seen this box before. This is a Nike Air Force. 
Oh my, what in the world? This sneaker is nuts. So they have the shoe trainer that might be making it heavy, but this sneaker itself is literally like five pounds or something. Like this is so heavy. I have never seen this sneaker in my life before. Guys, this is so heavy. There's like a bag in there and then what is this? This is, ooh, it's like a dog tag that says, can't like see what the cursive is. Has like the Nike Air Force on the back. See it right there. It looks pretty cool. So this is the Air Force One Crocodile Lux 25th anniversary. Last sale, $850, lowest ass, $1,100. Jeez, I need to look up the store on these. This is crazy sneaker. Got like crazy lace locks. I have never seen something like this before. When I'm telling you guys, this shoe is so heavy. This is probably why the box was probably like 70 pounds. Before we keep going, I wanna show you guys we got the stack of boxes going going up as well as the sneaker wall looking nice and thick back there. So that makes that one, two, three, 12 sneakers. Looking good, 12 sneakers. Values up on the screen. Let's see, I gotta like reach far in here. All right, fill a box. Let's see, what do we got here? We have a, whoa, this is an original Yeezy box. Yeezy 350 in the turtle dove color, US 7. Oh, this was my size, bro. I have not seen a Yeezy OG in so long long guys when i tell you this was my the biggest grail sneaker of mine ever i tried so hard to get these seriously i was not expecting this this is like one of the last shoes that i'd expect values on this we're at like a thousand we're at like two thousand oh i cannot believe these are dead stock too like with tags and all like the fact that these are still dead stock i'm so surprised this is a tiny size this is like my fiance size but she's not gonna be wearing these because this is this is an expensive shoe we gotta look up the value size seven sixteen hundred Last sale, a thousand bucks. Easily a thousand dollar sneaker right here. Oh my. I'm surprised at this. Seriously. We've got, this is a thousand dollar sneaker. We got like, we're looking good so far, guys. We've got a long way to go. Ten thousand dollars is a lot, but I think we're looking pretty good. Continuing on, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek and maybe peek in myself what we got. I can't see. This just looks like a lot of stuff. Dang, we have a lot of boxes. It looks like a Nike Fear of God box right here, though. Oh, yes. This is a big box. We have the Air Fear of God Light Bone. Yet yeah, N in my size, size 10 and a half. Let's go ahead and pull these out. Dang, this is a beautiful sneaker. They had these at 750, dead stock. You guys know I had this sneaker in the black color. I actually just sold them, and this is like all leather, and the other one was not. I've heard these are hard to put on. That little pull tab on the back is nicer than the first version. I really like these. I might actually be keeping these. Not a fan of those Nike Fear of Gods, but these definitely I'm a big fan of. I like the high top. Last sale, 715, selling for 725 right now. I really like this sneaker though. This is probably one I'll end up keeping. Guys, I literally can't even reach in here. This is so deep. All right, let's see. We got a Jordan 14 box in the Wolf Gray size 13. They're coming out with the Supreme collab, I think, of this Jordan version of the Jordan 14, but I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this. I saw the picture of those. I'm not a big fan of them. Size 13 is at 170, so used. They're probably worth like 100 bucks. 15 deep. Let's see. Another box we have right here is a Jordan 8 retro size 9.5. We have the Jordan Aqua 8. Knew they're selling for about 240, but these are used, so I'll probably say about 200 bucks on them. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit secretive still. All right, we have a Jordan. This is a Jordan 6. I got to put this back up. I'm on, I'm struggling right now. Jordan 3, black, bright, crimson. Never heard of that color. Hmm. New selling for 185, so used probably like 100 bucks. Keeping it going. If I had to guess, we're probably at like $6,000, $7,000. So I'm going to peek in here and, and look now. So we have an Adidas bait box. Maybe this is a pair of the Ultra Boost. We have Dane Ford. I feel like I saw these, but I'm not 100% sure. Size 12. 12 is $1,200. Last sale is like $600. I guess there's not many pairs, but that's pretty cool. Definitely looks like a basketball sneaker, but I like the colorway. We've reached 18 pairs and we have four left or five left. So I'm gonna pull this out. It's a Jordan 1 box. We have the Jordan 1 size 11 and a half. NRG, not for resale. Oh, <laughs> bruh, these are flames. Oh, I've seen the red, but they didn't have my size whenever I would see them. These are dope. They say not for resale on the side, except they're reselling a really good bit. This is a dope sneaker. I'm probably gonna end up keeping these. Size 11 and a half, I can make work. Size 11 and a half, last sale, $1,100, bruh. Not for resale, but reselling for $1,100. Man, this wall is stacking. So it looks like we have four left. I'm just gonna pull these out. Tired of looking at all. Oh, I guess I'm gonna pull this one out. We have a Jordan 4 cause right here. Dang, in the gray, oh my, size Dang it. Ah, I've wanted this for so 
long, size seven. I'm such a fan of calls. You can see like the little emboss on there. You got the X's on the back. I have a calls toy right back there. You guys know I love art. I got art right there, art right there. They had these at $1,600. Let's go ahead and look up what the resale of these are. Let's pull these out. I'm gonna see these boxes in like a stop in the middle. We got Jordan box and then we have a Supreme Vans box and that is it. It's so big. Three left. We got the Supreme Vans right here. Let's check these out. These are the diamond plates. I think these just came out. These had to come out like last week. These are a size nine and a half going for 160 bucks. Keeping it moving, we have a Jordan 6 Retro White Varsity Red Black. This pair of Jordan 6s, these are used. Last sale is 327 on a size nine and a half used, so probably like 200 bucks on those. I thought it'd be a little bit less. And then lastly, we have a Jordan 8 Retro DB size 12, another Dornbeck. Dang, these are crazy. Those are big. It looks like this one has a story on it. Caden Lampert size 10. It shows his disease and it says Air Jordan 8. This Dornbecker Freestyle is a remarkable partnership between between Dornbecker Children's Hospital at Oregon Health and Science University. It gives patients a chance to create limited edition footwear and apparel. That is awesome. So I guess Caden designed this shoe right here. Look at that, that's crazy. Oh, does it have his like, fingerprint there? It's got like some crazy, says rock on. Size 12, last sale 750. So really like the Dornbecker series. That is so dope. Shout out to Caden for creating this sneaker right here. I think it's time for me to add up all these values and then check back in, let you know what the resale value is from what I found in all my findings. So let's see. All right guys, so I just calculated out the resale value of like realistically what these items would sell for all of them here so i have a long list my total came out to eleven thousand ten dollars at me selling them at the price that i would sell them at basically like the last sale i'd go by you obviously have some fees but it depends where you sell eleven thousand dollars a little bit over that is what i came to at like the resale value of what i probably would make at selling it at my price now if you were patient and waited you could probably make a thousand to two thousand dollars more but i like to sell things quicker so i would say eleven thousand to thirteen thousand is probably where I could get the resale at depends how patient I want to be but again this would not be possible without Squarespace so I'm gonna go ahead right now I'm gonna be listing a bunch of these up for sale let me show you how to do it and how easy it is with Squarespace all right guys so I want to show you guys how easy it is to sell an item or sneakers on Squarespace I'm gonna do a quick little demonstration show you with these off-white presses right here if you're gonna be creating a website like me for reselling for something like this it is so simple all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shoes I'm gonna place them on the box show everything that's gonna be coming with it take a picture of the front take a picture of the bottom of the shoe to show what condition it's in and then I'm gonna take a picture of the inside the box if there's any additional things which are, are the laces I'm going to send these photos over to my computer really quick I'm gonna go over to my Squarespace page go over to inventory click on add product Harrison Neville shop upload the images simple as that I'm gonna type in the full name of it so Nike presto size 8 parentheses DS including a description saying brand new never worn includes box and extra laces go to the size and go to the last sale size 8 last sale 550 sell for 570 so I'm gonna probably put it around $540 put the weight as three pounds the dimensions of the box I'm gonna be shipping which is 14 by 10 by 6 save and publish and then now we go over to my website. That post is right at the top. You can see it right there, Nike Off-White Presto size eight. Scroll down, you can see the pictures and we're ready to go. So make it just add it to cart and check out. If you wanna start a Squarespace page to do anything from reselling, from starting a blog about sneakers, anything like that, you can get a 14 day free trial plus 10% off your first purchase using the code Harrison. I'll be leaving a link down below so you can see and use that to go ahead and get your discount. Again, Squarespace is my favorite place to go ahead and run my online store. So check it out if you guys want to. That's gonna wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see guys next time this is Harrison signing out